so much. Um, I want to thank um, Raising Rhode Island. I want to thank the Economic Progress Institute in particular, Linda, for helping with this legislation. And I also want to thank all of the community advocacy agencies that are here in support. And I would like to acknowledge my colleagues. We have uh, Senator Boyer here with us, Senator Lawson, Senator Valverde. I see uh, Senator Fuai in the back. Um, I saw Rep. Ajello, and I apologize um, for Hassar. And I think, my, oh, and our uh, treasurer, Seth Magaziner. And uh, thank you all for coming to support this. You know, when I was asked to sponsor this bill, um, this was really a no-brainer for me. And I know that Linda stated before, but there are 4,000 families who rely on the Rhode Island Works Program. These families receive an average of $6 per person per day, an amount that has not increased in 30 years. 75% of those receiving these benefits are children. And we know that trapping children in deep poverty is harmful to their health and their future success and can negatively impact their ability to succeed in school. And the stress caused by living in poverty can inhibit a young child's early brain development and negative, negatively impact the child's ability to develop the appropriate social emotional skills that they need to succeed. And although many families in the Rhode Island Works program live in one socket, we have the second highest number. There are families in this program from nearly every single district in this state, so this affects all of us. And this legislation really matters and can have a significant impact on the lives of the families participating in this program. For those of you that aren't aware, Rhode Island Works programs are so valuable and what they do is they help hundreds of families throughout the state protect children as well as they help parents gain skills for work readiness. So increasing cash assistance is one important strategy to help lift families especially children out of extreme poverty and I want to be clear that the proposed bill simply lifts those families out of extreme poverty into regular poverty. We have a really long way to go. But this strategy should be combined with other supports like raising minimum wage and raising income earned, uh, raising earned income tax credits for working families. And um, not to be cliche, but everyone does better when everyone does better and we as elected officials have an obligation to take care of and protect the most vulnerable people in our state, which is our children. And I want to thank you all again for coming.